Hello, everybody. Uh, today, our subject for introduction to electric electronic and mechatronic and energy engineering students, uh, engineering standards. Engineering standards. Uh, uh, actually, engineering standards are summaries of industrial best practice. The specification are written in terms of functional, mechanical, and electrical aspects that allow proper usage of available components to build a system. So standards may also be regarded as codified guidelines that define how tests should be performed and uh, how products are to be designed. Standards, uh, moreover, standards are created by bringing together experience and expertise of stakeholders on specific issues. Standards protect public health and safety, improve product quality, uh, help to advance the growth of new technologies and uh, foster international trade. It's important that uh, all engineering students get familiar with standards while in university. Actually, why standards are important? So International Organization for Standardization, so it's called as a ISO, in ISO we're gonna call ISO, International Organization for Standardization. Uh, ISO defines a standard as a document that provides requirements, specifications, guidelines, or characteristics that can be used consistently to ensure that materials, products, process, and services are fit for their purpose. Uh, today, there are standards for programming languages, electrical interfaces, and the communication protocols. The purpose uh, of standards is to establish definition, test procedures, and rating structure uh, to allow the comparison of one product with another on an equitable basis. Standards can be uh, grouped according to the following categories. First one, I process standards. Second thing, standard test methodologies. And lastly, performance standards. Uh, process standards are standards that describe the general system uh, of a way of doing things. Standard test methodology specifies a test to be performed, the test protocol to be followed to evaluate the physical properties or performance levels of product. Um, the performance standard describes the performance attributes uh, usually for a single device category. Standards allow a user of a technology product to be able to uh, replace Venture A product with Venture B product and the technology uh, should work with no other chains as long as both Venture A and Venture B products conform to the same standards. This is termed as an interoperability. First termination in standard, interoperability. <coughs> So, in addition, uh, standards allow multi-venture products of the same technology to communicate with each other. This is termed interworking. Second thing for standardization purpose, interworking. So, the standard defines the necessary interface, which is very effective to achieve interworking. 
Because of standard, it's possible for a 100 watt light bulb to fit the circuit of all table labs. In addition, a roof engineering standards, a CD can be played in a car or in a portable CD player. Uh, also, we will write a table for um, element product system with their corresponding engineering standards. It's just an example standards, example uh, 35 uh, element uh, product or system. Standards are not limited to electronics, you know, they apply to other things such as materials, cabins, uh, also your sofa, your home, your uh, kitchen equipment, etc. In our example table, first column element, product, and system. Second column, engineering. Standards. Also, we have some comments. Okay. First element for us standard mounts for light bulbs. Standard mounts for light bulbs. It's called as a maybe you know Edison screw. Related standards, ANSI C8164 and IEC 60061. What is the purpose of these standards? Uh, specify lamp mount types. Okay, second example for uh, product and system, standard resistor values, for example, standard resistor values. Related standard, Electronic Industry Association, EIA, Electronic Industry Association. The EIA E series specify preferred resistance values for various tolerance. It defines it defines tolerance level of resistors. So here, uh, for example. E12, for example, for 10 percentage tolerance, for example, E24 for 5 percentage tolerance. Another example system, universal, universal serial bus. It's called as a USB R system. It's engineering standard IEC 62680. It defines the connectors, cables, and communication protocols used in a bus for connection and communication between computers and electronic devices. Another example, C++ programming. language. It's called as an ISO and IEC 14882.2011. It's general purpose programming language that was standardized, ratified and published by ISO in 2011. All C language indicators, symbols, and the letters, and the for and while, and the if comments are related and dependent on the IEC 6 
two, six, eight, O. Every year, the standards are updated by standard com standardization companies and standardization association. Also, last example for uh, our standard system, one phase, for example, one phase three wire, for example, 60 hertz, low voltage. One hundred twenty volt or two hundred forty volt. It related standard IEC six zero zero three eight. It defines a set of standard voltage for a low voltage AC electricity supply system. Actually, uh, they are just an example. Five uh, standard example in the world probably over 1 million standards are available. A report from the US Congress of Show Technology Assessments indicated that standards are important for national economic growth and innovation. We can write uh, a good standard uh, specification for an industry, good standards, Firstly, promote market efficiency and the expansion. Also, second thing, foster international trade. And thirdly, encourage competition and uh, uh, lower barriers to market entry and fourthly diffuse new technologies And fifth aspect, protect consumers against unsafe products. And lastly, uh, so to increase Okay, uh, the accreditation board for engineering and technology is also another standards for education, ABET. Uh, fourth one, diffuse new technologies. For create the new technologies uh, is different, different than available one we need to standards for diffusing new technologies. So the ABET here, uh, criterion five, also ABET is uh, the accreditation port for engineering and technology. The accreditation board for engineering and technology criterion five states that students, engineering students, and also another uh, department must be prepared for engineering practice through a curriculum culminating in a major design experience based on the uh, knowledge and skills occurred in earlier coursework and incorporate appropriate engineering standards and multiple realistic constraints. This criterion assumes that students are familiar with engineering standards while working on their senior design project. So standards are very important for your engineering life and engineering education life because all homeworks, 
all projects, all senior projects are related and respected to the and engineering standards. How are engineering standards made? An engineering standard is created by bringing together experience and expertise of stakeholders on a specific issue. Uh, the standard created is the result of a consensus of stakeholders involved in the development. Stakeholders may consist of experts in the technical area, product users, regulatory agency, agencies, manufacturers, and other interested parties. In Turkish, we gonna call them the paydaşlar. Uh, standards are typically developed when a group of organization want to offer a commercial product. Um, standards ensure that no product is designed with supply chain of components only from one venture. For example, uh, any product that uses Intel chips also can use AMD chips. Technically, one does not need a standard if only one venture develops a, commer a commercial product. Standards bodies are extremely careful to make sure multiple ventures participate in the development of same product so that uh, the end users can have choice in, the, in where they can produce a product. As an example, let us consider how a standard is initiated in IEEE. IEEE Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineering. <coughs> A group of individuals or committee decides that the standard is needed to provide uniformity or safety for industry. The committee looks for a sponsor in one of the IEEE technical societies. Since the sponsor takes responsibility, there must be interest and technical competence within the sponsoring society. The next step is to fill out the project authorization request. It's called as a PAR. PAR project authorization request request form and submit it to IEEE standard board the project authorization request is submitted to new standards committee new standard committee is a nestcom new standards committee Once the NESCOM <coughs> approves the project authorization uh, request, the project is recognized by IEEE Standard Association Standards Board, board and the work may commence on it. The time between the approval of project authorization request and the complete compilation of the standard may take up to 40 years. Further development of the standard WG WG Working Group which is established by due process. The WG consists of individuals representing the various aspects of the subject. Uh, the basic steps taken by the WG involves, firstly, understand the purpose and scope of PAR. Secondly, examine related publication and standards. Thirdly, determine state of R. Another subject, state of art. Actually, fourthly, uh, draft an outline. Huh. 
Ha, okay. Uh, today uh, I upload the last week and the, this week uh, slide, but the generally all students uh, tell me uh, if you use the whiteboard, it's efficient for us. So in lecture, generally, I don't use the uh, slide, but uh, I will upload for your exam, etc. Okay. Uh, fifthly, not fifthly. Gosh, uh, state of art. We, we we said lastly state of art. Uh, what's the state of art? State of art. Uh, it's a modern, uh, highest level of general development as of a device, technique, or scientific field achieved of a particular time. For example, our television technology state of art now, LED or LCD technology, actually, also 4K technology and curl LED space technology. However, in some context, it can also refer to a level of development reached at any particular time as a result of the common methodologies employed at the time. So, at the start of your project, engineering project, firstly, you need to review state of art of your project main topics. So actually, uh, state of art, it's very important and crucial uh, part of your uh, project definition. And after that, after an outline for standardization, and then add the text, and then the finalize the documents. Also, when all these steps have been taken, the final draft is ready for balloting. A 100 percentage uh, approval is not required. Finally, the approval standard is published by IEEE. Maybe we can say some uh, standard organization about. Uh, standards are developed by several uh, organizations, including in the world. First one, ISO. ISO, I write again, International Standards Organization. Uh, ISO headquarters in Genoa, Switzerland, was uh, formed in 1947. International standards are main focus of the ISO. Uh, the organization promotes worldwide commercial and industrial standards. Uh, it has over uh, probably 160 national members. Each national member represents the country. Uh, the standards are published by ISO, so in Turkish ISO, in English ISO, and made available through national standards bodies. So second standardization organization, ITU. ITU, International Telecommunication Union. Uh, it's headquarters in Genoa again, Switzerland, is one of speci specialized agency of the United Nations. So, um, that focus on issues related to the information and communication technologies. So, ITU coordinates the shared global use of the radio spectrum and the organization assist in assigning satellite orbits. ITU has over uh 190 member countries and over uh, 700 private sector entities and academic institution so standardization is one of the major activities of itu and that part of itu work used to be done by international telephone and telegraph consultative committee so next one standardization international Electrotechnical co 
commission. So IEC has approximately uh, 82 member nations founded in uh, 1906 in Genoa again, uh, Switzerland. The IEC is the leading organization for the preparation and the publication of international standards for electrical, electronic and related technology. Actually, uh, IEEE standards and IEC standards are important for our uh, engineering area, I think. IEC standards cover a broad range of technologies such as power generation, distribution of electricity to industry and the households, medical technologies, fiber optics, batteries, solar energy, and nanotechnology. Uh, the IEC is one of the three global sister organizations IEC, ISO, and ITU, sister organization in Switzerland. Uh, they that develop international standards for the world. So there is a strong collaboration between IEC, uh, ISO, and the ITU. Uh, next standardization institute, ANSI, ANSI, A N S I, American National Standards Institute. Headquarters in Washington, D.C. is the national standard body in the United States. Uh, it was established in 1918 to enhance both the global competitiveness of the U.S. brands, business, and the U.S. quality of life by promoting and facilitating voluntary consensus standards and conformity uh, assessment systems and safeguarding their integrity. And she is also actively engaged with the accreditating program that assess performance standards. Also in Turkey, we have Turkish standards. Standard TSE. Standard Council of Turkey. Uh, located in, you know, Ankara. Uh, it has a two-fold mission. ANSI, American National Standards Institute. Standards Council of United States. Uh, ANSI, I say again, okay, I mean, Actually, I can say again, ANSI quality of United States brand, quality of United States business, United States companies, uh, they want to increase their quality, etc. So ANSI is a standardization and accreditation uh, association for United States. Uh, like your country, for example, in Turkey, our country, Standard Council of Turkey, TSE. Uh, TSE has a twofold mission wanting to lead and facilitate the development and use of national and international standards. Secondly, to conduct accreditation services that enhance Turkey's competitiveness. The Council's a work falls into three major areas, standards, accreditation service, and the policy and stakeholder relations. The Standards Council of Turkey has lots of members, governing council, and the staff of approximately uh, uh, 100 over. Also, it has a seat on the ISO's governing uh, council. So lastly, IEEE, Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineering. Engineers. Uh, 
it was formed in 1963 by a merger of the two institutions, the Institute of Radio Engineer and the American Institute of Electrical Engineer. No, TSE is a not global venture uh, brand. It's a local uh, st national standards company. So they work with the uh, IEC, IEEE, and the ISO. So actually, uh, they are national standards. But the IEC, ISO, and IEEE are international standards. For example, ANSI. And not local, uh, ANSI is national standards like TSS. Uh, with, for again, I say IEEE, with its headquarters located in New York City, its purposes in the advancement of the theory and practice of electrical electronics, communication, and computer engineering, as well as uh, you know computer science and uh, other branches of engineering like uh, mechatronics etc it's also a leading standard development organization for the development of industrial standards in a broad range of disciplines uh, the ieee has more than 10,000 participants in the over 90 countries that supports the ieee standard development work the ieee standards association uh, has published more than uh, 900 standards that are now in use. Standards, the also standard development organization such as ANSI and IEEE or TSE, TSE should not be confused with certification and testing groups such as SCC and UL, etc. Certification groups test products to see if they meet some specifications. They are not standard organization. For example, one uh, important example for certification groups, UL. Also, different types of standards. There are different types of standards. Some are government, some are voluntary. For mandated standards, there are uh, penalties for not adhering to standards. For example, uh, first step, international. Standards, national standards, also local standards. It's a rectangular, you know. Peak of rectangular, international, middle of rectangular, national standards, and the bottom of uh, rectangular, local standards. So. Standards can be classified as local, national, and international. Local standards are developed by companies when national or international standards are not available. Many organizations and companies, such as IBM, produce standards. For example, the United States Department of Defense develops standards, term military standards. It's example, MIL, military standards, and some IBM standards. They are local. Some of these Department of uh, Defense standards made their way into national standards. Most North American-based corporations in the petroleum and chemical industry use in-house standards as well national and international standards. Also, national standards are developed by national standard organizations such as ANSI for the United States and TSE for Turkey. As local standards become enhanced by national bodies, they become national standards. A survey conducted in 1993 by ANSI found that were uh, over 90,000 standards in the United States, uh, over 80,000 in the Russian Federation, also over 19,000 in France, over 9,000 in Japan, and 6,000 in Canada, etc. International standards are developed by international standards organizations such as ISO and IEC. ISO 
IEC Nation Standard Example TSE ANSI. Uh, international standards have to uh, harmonize standards in different parts of the world. So they allow people in one nation to be able to communicate with people in other nations. Each day, uh, the world is becoming more global marketplace. As corporations become global, the need for international standards becomes more acute. A standard uh, in one country does not automatically qualify a product in another country because each country has a set of its own standards. Now, examples of engineering standards, uh, we can say some things. There are over 1 million standards worldwide. For example, IEE. IEEE 8.0.2.3 It's carrier sends multiple access collision detections And it, its variant has been the most successful standard in terms of commercial deployment worldwide. Why? Uh, for example, in communication area, we have first standard IEEE 8.0.2.1.1. It goes by the popular name of Wi-Fi standard, for example. The standard uh, makes the speed of local area network to be uh, 54 megabits per second. Also, another standard 802.11G allows a person to share documents. The speed of the 54 megabits per second up from 11 megabit per second called for in the standard 802.11B on a wireless local area network. Another standard 802.11A allows device to operate in one gigahertz band rather than in the lower 2.4 gigahertz band where uh, there can be inter interference from devices such as cordless telephone and microwave ovens. So another important standard for telecommunication, IEEE, IEEE 802.15.4. It allows them to play video games with wireless controller. It provides a common framework for small low data rate wireless devices, such as video game controllers, to connect to a game playing console at 10 to 250 kilobits per second at a distance uh, of 10 meters or less. Another standard, IEEE 1512, it sets up uh, guidelines for each emergency, allowing each emergency responder to communicate with others. Also, the standard outlines a common set of data fields, accident uniformly, uh, ensuring that the right people and the equipment arrive on the scene. Local police, fire department, and emergency medical services to arrive at the scene of an accident and provide services. Also, another section, computers and networking. IEEE 201 uh, is for website reliability standards. This standard uh, was developed with consumer unions and was released in uh, 2002. Uh, it specifies that every web page should have a link that names the organization supplying the information how to contact it <coughs> and the uh, statement that your privacy will be protected. The standard also has guidelines for creating websites that people with um, disabilities can use. Google and the European Union were involved in adopting the standards. Also, another for computer, 
and networking IEEE 1073. It specifies how medical electronic equipment are plugged into a network and also how data are captured, processed, Achieved in, in hospital computer system without extra software, additional hardware, or loss of information. Uh, the standards uh, allows medical personnel to automatically record readings from several different kinds of diagnostic equipment into a patient's chart. It avoids manually recording re readings, thus cutting down errors in transferring medical information. Also, lastly, we power generation transmission and distribution IEE 1547 it outlines the requirements for running distributed generators when power is uh, out uh, the standard also specifies what needs to be done for the distributed generator to supply access power to the grid the IEEE standard 154 uh, for seven allows the grid to operate in both direction grid to supply to a consumer and uh, a consumer to supply power to the grid uh, as a lastly the operation port for engineering and technology a bit criterion five requires students to complete major design projects that uh, incorporate appropriate engineering standards. Students, uh, I think, should be familiar with the engineering uh, standards relevant uh, to their capstone design project and homework and uh, incorporate the dictates of standards in their practice, their project. Standards enhance the learning by pointing to students best industrial practice. So since standards are updated frequently to keep pace with new technological developments, you know, it's also important that engineering stay current on a new standards and practice. Uh, generally, in our library website, you can access the Turkish Standard Institute and IEEE standards. Maybe today you can access to uh, IEEE web page using our Okan University uh, electronic library using your password etc uh, maybe you can analyze the ITP standards today some of them for example uh, for your interested area for example robotic arm standards etc for example Wi-Fi standards for example distribution standards and the cable uh, cross-sectional standards etc Okay, I think uh, today is enough. We have question to me. Prof, will you? Yes, Mohammed, and then the. Yes, I will upload today uh, site for this topic. Don't worry. Also, will we have homework? Or no, not now. Next, probably I will. Uh, give homework. Does they say global? Oh, yo, sorry. How is the midterm going to be? Uh, two weeks later, you have an exam. Uh, probably uh, we will give you three hours. Probably uh, we upload your midterm exam to the all or system and then uh, you can after two or three hours later you can send us our email it's take home exam don't worry again i say we will upload your exam to the system at the exam time and then two hours later probably you will send us again Uh, Ibrahim, uh, you you have lecture recordings in the uh, all learn system. You know this is the seventh week. Probably, uh, probably you have seven lectures from Professor Nejat and uh, my three lectures. Uh, 
uh, you are responsible from lecture recordings and the uh, presentation and the slides, etc. You are right. Yes, you have to study all of them. Seven hours. Okay, thank you, my friends. See you next week.